mean, she taught me everything. I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. Any luck yet? 
You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Having trouble finding those ingredients? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to... communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. They shouldn't be that hard to find. Shelves, tables, they should be easy to find. She wouldn't have hidden them. 